Nigeria's commercial capital Abuja played host to the fourth edition of the annual event. It was a walk down memory lane for these guests from the diaspora. This time though, they were returning through the same route their forefathers used when they were shipped as slaves. Among those attending was a son of the Jamaican black nationalist and leader of the Pan-African movement, the late Marcus Garvey. Well, it was a hot, tiring experience. Fortunately, we weren't in chains like our ancestors were, but it was, we were reminiscing. Millions of Africans were shipped over 400 years ago from the West African coast and forced into a life of slavery in America and the Caribbean. Some were sold into slavery by relatives, rival tribes, or captured during communal conflicts. Many died on their way. Those who survived endured a life of toiling in various plantations. We are, you know, from three races, so I want to understand where the African piece of our ancestors um, went through and all of their experiences. So this is very significant. I'll be able to, to bring really good uh, real facts to my family and, and to my friends who were probably misguided through all the years. The guests also experienced a walk along the 1.5 kilometer slave route to the ocean, a trek their forefathers endured while chained to waiting marching ships. It's a symbolic connection, economic, spiritual, emotional, physical. And as they're coming, as they say conversation, breeds comprehension. When you talk more to somebody, you understand the person better. Oh, so this is who you are. Oh, you're not as bad as we thought you were. And as they're coming, they want to see what they can do on the continent. For instance, building a diaspora palace here in Badagri. So it's about also investing on the continent. The festival is, however, happening at a time of a heavy exodus of Nigerians in search of better opportunities abroad. The brain drain is going to turn into a brain grain gain. All we need are the, are the right policies on the continent for those of us in the diaspora to return and be effective. Um, because, you know, there are so many doctors, there are so many engineers, there are so many professionals. Uh, African, you know, out there in the United States and Europe and the Caribbean, Latin America. So there is a significant um, resource, both, both um, uh, in, in terms of intellect uh, as, as well as monetary resource. It is hoped that the festival will help people of African descent in the diaspora reconnect with their forefathers' homeland. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.